Hey guys, Figurecraft here. Sorry, it's been a while, but um, today we're going to be going over the review video, the build review video of shipment 17 while we await shipment 18. They've already collected my money for the uh, next shipment. I'm just waiting. So the first thing that we did... First of all, we're going to be doing the, um, let's see here, if I can get, get it right, there we go, 93, the first thing that they had us to do in 93, I'll have to show you in the book, but basically, they had us to take this little metal wire and pop it in with this little plastic piece, then snap these pieces together, and that was your first step, and that was with this first cargo loading crane right here. That was the first thing that they had you to do in issue 93. The second thing that they had you to do was a big time challenge. And let's see here if I can get it. I have to tilt the phone up a bit. Hang on a minute. Yeah, I still got to tilt the phone up. We'll get it. There we go. This was the challenge thing right here. Was getting this little piece of metal rod... To go completely through the crane. That was a challenge. Then they had you to do the same thing with the hook and the pulley. And then once you got that in, you would have that much of the crane done. And that was a big time challenge on that one. And then the bigger challenge was when it came to these small wire pieces. Grab my phone. These small wire pieces right here on each side. And that's getting them to clip around right there. And then you put them in the ends. They don't like to stay in the ends. I had to super glue mine in because they always fall out. And then you would be built left with that much of the build of the crane. And then you would put a screw at the bottom of the crane. And then once you have all of that done. Flip the page here. Oops. You would basically be left with putting the crane onto the back of the ship. Basically, just a push fit, just snaps into place. And then that would be your first part done. And then right down here is the first crane. I painted the top of mine right here gray on this side. Because on the uh, Titanic Honor and Glory demo, it is gray. see here. Oh, okay. That came out a little bit. So if that comes out again, I may have to glue that down. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. But anyway, that right there is the first crane that they would have you to build. Then you would go to issue 94, which is basically repeating the same process over again. Because you're building the other crane. So, once again, the small plastic piece with the wire. Basically, those three pieces right there. And you just clip it into place. This is the second loading crane. And just think, we got to do, I think, about five or six more of these. Because there's two at the front and there's four, five... Six at the back. So yeah, we got a lot more to do. And thank you. Two at the front. Four at the back. Yeah, because bottom lower well deck at the back has two. The poop deck has two. And then the forward well deck has two. Yeah, we still got a lot of cranes to do. Anyway, then you would snap these two pieces together. Then you would be left with that. Then the small pin again, which is not an easy task to do. You'll know it when you do that yourself. <laughs> that is a pain in the butt. Then you would take the pulley system and the hook system and then put all that through. Then you would be greeted with that. And then you would take your last two little wire pieces. 
snap them onto the ends right there and then hook them into the hook section. Next page. Then you glue them in place like I said. It doesn't tell you to glue them but I glued mine. If not they will pop back out. Then you'd be left with that much of a completed crane. Then you would take the base of the crane. Put it down. Use a small screw. Then you would take your other crane. And then apply it to the deck. Just by push fit connection. Having it to snap into place. And then you would be greeted with two cranes on the back of your ship. Turn the page. After the cranes were done, then you would take these little um, columns that they gave you. They give you about six of these columns. Uh, on here, they're brown. On mine, I painted mine white because if you go to the Titanic Honor and Glory demo and then you walk to the back of the ship where these are, they are basically white beam poles. So I'm not sure why they made them uh, brown on here, but after you get those in, that would be your completed work. And then down here on mine, like I said, I painted mine white. You can see they're white. And there's the other crane on the other side. I've just got the deck resting on here. But anyway, that's all for that one. And then when you get to 95... <laughs> This is when you pick up work back up on the hole. So I can't really show you this because it's under the ship. It's right there under the ship. You can see the little kills sticking out. And it's hard to flip that ship over. Especially without, you know, like trying not to damage anything. So I'll show you in the book. Basically, you would take the whole bottom of the ship, which is the kill, and the bilge kills. And you would basically locate, you know, what's starboard, what's port. It would tell you how to do that. And then once you've located those, flipping the page, you would take both your bilge kills. And then you would basically pop them into place on each side that they go on. And then you would use some super glue to uh, glue them in place. And then once you got that done, that would basically be the completed work of the bottom of your ship. Then after that was done, then you would move on to issue 96. Once you got to issue 96, it was taking another section of the kill and adding it to the kill of the ship that you just basically put together with the bilge kills. Basically, you would be taking this. Next kill section for the hole. And then you would attach that next kill section to it. And then once you got that attached to it, they would tell you to then take your entire hole of the ship and flip it upside down. And then you would snap it into place, which on mine I tried flipping it upside down. That didn't work too well for me, so I basically just set the ship on top of the kill. And then worked the... Uh, the screw holes into the sockets and that worked a whole lot better than just flipping it upside down once you got all of that done and you would have all of these located in their places it would then tell you to take im screws which are metal four of them into the back of the ship then after that you would take ip screws which you used about gosh you used a lot of these i think it was like 20 something of these or something like that let me see here i'll tell you here in a minute how many screws it had you to use Seventeen, seventeen 17 ip screws you put 17 ip screws in there then once you had all that done then your completed work would be right there and that piece is back here at the back of the ship sitting right there. This is where the engine is eventually going to mount.
But after you got that done, then you would move on to issue 97. And 97 is the side of the ship towards the back. So it would be the next whole section port side. <laughs> so it would have you to take this. Then you would attach it on to your ship, locating the location of it. After you had that done, we'd flip to the final page. And then it would have you to install that whole section with two LM screws. And you would use your Allen key. And then once you had that in, you'd have that much of the ship done. And that piece is right here. That would be this red section right here. You can see that would be the red section right there. And then our last piece to put on would be this one right here, which will be issue 98. Issue 98. So we turn the page. Next section of the upper hole port side. Basically right here, this will be your black piece. And then you would basically do the same thing, take the hole, snap it into place. Once it's located in its position, then you would take, uh, some more LM screws and you would be using about three, four, five of these. You would do these two first, then you would do these three last. And then once you had that in, you would have that much of the ship complete. And that is this piece right here. You can see mine's got some white painted on the top of it. Let me see here. Mine's got some white painted on the top of it right here, but that's not all. It's also got orange painted on the inside of it. Because this is where the, uh, the lower well deck in the back of the ship is starting to come into play. So I'm doing to it just like we did up here to the front. Where it's orange on the inside and white on top. Got to do the same thing for the back of the ship. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope y'all are doing safe during these troublesome times. And when I come back, we'll be going over the next weigh-in video of the Titanic to see how heavy she's gotten now. And I guarantee you she's heavy now because it's got some four new sections of metal hull added. Yeah, it's gotten heavy. This um, section right here that um, everybody, you know, says is plastic... Plastic on the inside, very, very, very thin sheet of metal on the outside that's glued to the plastic. And the reason for plastic is to prevent vibration inside the ship when the engine is running. You don't want to hear it vibrate. So that's why it's plastic on the inside and metal on the outside. To, keep, to uh, prevent vibration. But yeah, it is, um, it is metal, just very, very, very thin metal on the outside of this plastic. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and hope y'all are doing safe during these troublesome times. And you all have a blessed one and I will catch you guys in my next one. And goodbye.